it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Today we are going to be doing another skincare brand overview and today we're going to talk about the Sonage skincare brand. Um, before I get into the video, I do want to say that I actually recorded this entire video yesterday and it was 35 minutes long. That is way too long. <laughs> Even in my world of longer videos, that was way too long. So I've decided to re-record the video today. You guys know I don't edit, it's not my thing. Um, yesterday I talked a lot about the ingredients that are contained within the Sonage skincare products that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. <clears throat> I am not going to talk as much about the ingredients because that did take up a huge chunk of time. What I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and what I think is really the most important part to share is the results that I've seen from the individual products, sort of what my favorites are from the line, what I would recommend for you to try. So that's really what I'm gonna be focusing on today. In the description box down below this video, there will be links to each of the products I'm gonna be talking about. Please do go read about about the ingredients. Also go read up more about the brand itself. They have a wonderful philosophy that I will talk about for it just really quickly towards the beginning of this video. Um, but as far as like the in-depth like information, I'm going to condense that greatly because there's a lot of products to talk about and I just wanna make sure to give you guys the most important information. All right, with that being said, <laughs> let's get started. First things first, these products were sent to me for consideration. I did not pay to them, pay for them. Sonage Skincare did reach out and asked if I wanted to be able to try some of their products and then share my results with you guys. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send me the skincare products for free. So I did not pay for them. It does not affect my opinion or what I'm gonna tell you guys about. Um, I am always honest and upfront no matter what. So please know that. Um, I have quite a bit to share here. When I tell you guys about the product, I'm actually going to tell you in the order of application. So from cleanser, toner, moisturizer, that kind of stuff, we're gonna go in the order that I applied these products. Um, again, I'm gonna focus on my results. So a little bit about the brand. I did make a few notes to myself because I did wanna make sure to give you guys um, some general information. Uh, Sonage is obviously cruelty free. The products are made here in the United States, but they have sort of a European tradition in creating their formulations. The formulas are, um, so they basically create their skincare in small batches every 90 days. This allows them to incorporate um, any recent research, it allows them to basically make the products um, more effective as more information comes out about different ingredients, the concentrations that need to be within the formulations. So I really kind of like that about the brand. Um, they do use predominantly more natural ingredients. They are non-toxic. They don't use uh, any parabens, no phthalates, there's no um, triclosan, there's no talc, there's no mineral oil in their formulations. What else? There's no, um, uh, in terms of their sun protection factor, um, they don't use the oxybenzone, the avobenzone, or the oxy, oxin, octino, octinoxate, octinoxate. <laughs> <laughs> um, they rely on mineral sunscreens. There we go. <laughs> so um, they really don't believe in using harsh chemicals within their skincare and they really do try to use a more natural approach. The products are, um, they are a higher end skincare line. So the prices are in the 30, 40, 50, 60 dollar price range. Um, that is definitely a little bit higher than what you would pay for products at the drugstore. However, the products have a really great formulation. I feel like they are worth the investment. I think any skincare that is effective is worth the investment. So that is a personal opinion that I have. 
Of course, that is not everybody's opinion. Um, all that being said, I think the brand overall has a really great approach to their formulations and I think the products that they have created are very effective. I did tell them what the goals for my skincare um, goals are. So, um, you know, and one of the areas that I really wanted to address with this entire line is this general region right here. <laughs> I have gotten my face into pretty good shape. So I have used these products on my face. But the areas that I really wanted to address were my neck and my decollete, so this general region right here. I have not in the past spent a ton of time taking care of this area, but that is an area that can show age um, very quickly if you don't take care of it. Um, yes, you can pile a bunch of stuff on your face and have it look really great, but if your neck and your chest are in rough shape because you are not applying any skincare products to this area, um, I don't know what good it does to have a really, you know, youthful looking face when the rest of you is, you know, looking a whole lot older. So one piece of advice is whatever you are putting on your face, you should also be using on your neck and use it on your decollete as well. And better yet, the backs of your hands because those can show age very quickly as well. Okay. So let's get into the actual products here. I'm going to try to be as brief as possible again. Down below in the description box, there are links to all of the products. Please know that if you use those links to shop, so if you purchase the products using those links, I do get a small commission. If you're not comfortable with that, you can just go to the Sonage website and you can look these products up yourself. Do whatever you are most comfortable with. You guys know that I never pressure you to use my links or anything like that. They are down there just for reference. If you want to use them, great. I'm always appreciative. If you don't, that's okay too. All right, I'm gonna start with the cleanser. And I have to say that out of all of the products that I have tried, this is the one that I probably cared for the least. And I think it was honestly because I just prefer a foaming cleanser. Um, this is the Sinage Hydrating Cleanser. It is a gentle cream wash makeup remover. I will say that it does really beautifully remove my makeup, but I just, I felt like it was almost too heavy for my oily skin. Now I did tell Sinage what my um, skin type was, which is extremely oily. Um, but I do like to use hydrating products because I don't like to strip my oily skin. So um, this did not make me break out. It removes the makeup. It's just the texture of it that I don't really care for. It is very creamy, very hydrating. This is the perfect cleanser and makeup remover for those of you with normal to dry skin you would absolutely eat this up. It is a beautiful formulation for those particular skin types. For me personally, it's just not something that I see myself using. In fact, all of these other products I've been using for the last six to seven weeks, this is the one that I found myself using the least because I just could not get used to the texture. So, um, Take a look at the ingredients, see if it's a good fit for you. I can tell you in terms of texture, this is what you're looking at. It's a very thick, creamy cleanser. Um, it melts your makeup, it gets it off your face, but I felt like I almost had to cleanse my face twice when using this because it is so rich and so hydrating. Um, so there's that. Okay, the second thing that I would use um, is the Sonage Hydrating Mist, and this has rose, ginseng, and elderflower in it. And the way that I used this was actually right after cleansing my skin at night to sort of rebalance everything and to get it prepared for the rest of the ingredients that, or um, the rest of the products that I was using on my face. So I would just mist this all over my face. It felt amazing. It's an alcohol-free formulation, so it's not a toner that is going to dry your skin out in any kind of way. It just adds a burst of hydration and basically allows the rest of the products to glide onto my skin and sink in even more effectively. You can also use this to set your makeup. I don't set my makeup, so 
I did not use this in the mornings. <laughs> so this was a nighttime thing for me. I really like the mister on this. I'm just going to show you guys. So you can see it's just a very nice fine mist. Um, one to two sprays of this was more than enough to cover this whole area for me. Really nice product. I don't know that I would repurchase it necessarily, but it's been really great to try. If you are someone with dry skin again, and you want to set your makeup with a hydrating mist, I can definitely recommend this. It's beautiful. Once a week, I've been using the glow to go Glycolic Acid Peel Pads. Um, this is basically, um, this is, you, you guys have all seen these. They are the pads that are soaked with an alpha hydroxy acids that you run across your face. Um, helps to rid yourself of dead skin cells. Um, helps with uh, easing discoloration. Um, for me, alpha hydroxy acid is a great way to constantly keep my skin turning over and allowing the fresh skin um, to come through. And um, it basically allows these other products to absorb a little bit easier into the deeper layers of my skin. I really like this a lot. I use this on my face and my neck and my decollete. One pad was more than enough to cover this whole area. This was a once a week thing. I will say it tingled. <laughs> um, the first time it tingled um, quite a bit more than subsequent times. So I feel like this has a pretty strong, um, it doesn't tell me the exact um, concentration of the glycolic acid, but it was definitely, it was strong. I felt it. Um, it wasn't super uncomfortable, but I did want to, after about a minute, apply my moisturizer to help soothe that feeling a little bit. And it works. Um, these are very, very effective. This is absolutely something that I would personally consider repurchasing because I love alpha hydroxy acid products. So there's that. So that was once a week. Um, let's do their eye cream. I really like this eye cream, you guys. I kind of feel like it almost gives the um, My Beloved Brightening Eye Cream from Pericone MD a run for its money. This is beautiful, you guys. Um, one thing you have to be careful about, it is a, a really nice airtight pump here, but you don't want to press it all the way down. You'll get way too much product. So this is almost too much for both eyes. So I was using this morning and night underneath my eyes. This helps to address not only puffiness, but also dark circles. I don't have dark circles. My daughter has them, but I don't have an, an issue with them at all. Um, but this does help to reduce puffiness in the morning. It's really, really nice, you guys. It's a beautiful eye cream that absorbs very quickly. It's not greasy. It did not make my makeup crease underneath my eyes. Um, I did give this a solid probably five minutes to absorb before going in with my SPF. Um, and then the rest of my makeup and it wears beautifully throughout the day. I don't feel like it um, caused any creasing or anything like that. It also helps to plump that area underneath the eye up with some really nice moisture. So it helps with um, concealing or diminishing the look of fine lines in this area right here. I really like that a lot. I could see myself for purchasing that. So next we have the NMF Hyaluronic acid serum. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant that attracts moisture into the skin and helps to hydrate your skin. I love hyaluronic acid. This is actually the first one that I've had in a while. Um, I, for some reason, haven't been purchasing them, but I really like this one. It has a really nice texture that absorbs very, very easily into the skin. A little bit goes a long way. I would use this every single night before going in with one of the two moisturizers that I'm gonna show you guys here. Um, it feels wonderful on the skin and um, really does absorb very quickly and gives like an instant burst of hydration, plumps up the skin, helps. I find that a hyaluronic acid really helps to make my pores look smaller because when my skin gets that plumped effect, it sort of, um, like it causes my pores to, 
they don't look as deep if that makes sense one of the things that I've really liked about keeping my skin super hydrated is that it does help to make my pores look smaller I also love niacinamide for actually shrinking my pores to start with but hyaluronic acid and other moisturizing ingredients have gone a long way in helping my pores look even better so I really like this a lot I could definitely see myself repurchasing this for sure I've also been using the high impact vitamin C serum and this I've been using every single morning I haven't been using this on my face I've only been using it on my neck and my decollete this is a really nice vitamin C serum, you guys. Um, it does use, what is it, uh, ascorbyl palmitate and ascorbic acid. Yes. And then what else is in here? Yeah, so it's it's the ascorbyl palmitate is the, is the second vitamin C component, and then ascorbic acid is the first vitamin C. Okay, so this is another product that... I really enjoyed um, it is more of a lotion type texture most other vitamin C serums that I've used have been a little bit more liquidy and they've had that like kind of orange appearance to them you can see this almost looks like a lotion again a little bit goes a long way this has definitely helped to um, diminish the look of some breakouts that I had um, for some reason last month was really tough for breakouts on my neck so right before I started using this line it just for some reason I was breaking out like crazy on my neck area and so I had some um, you know just some leftover marks from that this has definitely helped to diminish the look of those I really like this vitamin C a lot um, it does have sort of like an orangey scent to it it's not strong but if you are super sensitive to fragrance this doesn't have like um like an orange perfume in it or anything um it's from the actual ingredients that you're getting that fragrance from um but i could smell this for a while after putting it on but it's really effective you guys i have definitely noticed that not only the dark spots started to disappear but this helped with this area right here where for some reason i was getting quite a bit of redness i feel like the vitamin c serum actually helped to reduce the redness on my chest this has been fantastic i want to continue to use this um so i'm probably going to actually purchase a backup of this um, I really like this a lot. That is fantastic. Okay, um, the Tulsi Soothing Triclay Mask, I'm not going to talk about very much at all. In fact, I'm going to link a video down below for the Mask Monday that I did on this. Please reference that video for more information about this, but I did really like this mask. Now, let's talk about, um, okay, let's talk about the SPF first. Um, I have two different moisturizers to share with you guys. But I wanted to share the Protect Plus Natural SPF 30 with you guys because I have been using this on my neck and my decollete. I tried it on my face a couple times. It did not work on my face. It sort of caused my makeup to break down. Um, I don't necessarily fault this product for that because it's really hard for me to find an SPF that works with my oily skin. I think that if you have either combination, normal, dry, sensitive skin, this will work just fine for you on your face. But my skin is super, super oily and it is difficult to find SPFs that work on there. However, on my neck, on my decollete, this is fantastic. You are going to get... Um, some really good protection from this. This uses zinc oxide. Yes, zinc oxide. It is a 13.5% concentration. Um, when you rub this in, it absorbs very quickly and it does not leave a white cast. It has a really nice texture to it. It does take a little while to dry down, so keep that in mind. Um, some of my other SPFs that I use on my face dry down a little bit quicker. This one does stay tacky for just a little bit longer, but um, if you have the time, I do think it's worthwhile, especially if you are not extremely oily. I am going to continue to use this on my neck and my chest area. 
I don't think this is something that I would repurchase, um, but it is very nice. They do also have sandalwood in here, um, which is supposed to prevent premature aging. Um, I don't know much about sandalwood and skincare, but I definitely want to research it a little bit more because I haven't, like I said, heard very much about it. But yeah, not for my face. However, my neck and my decollete, it's been wonderful for that. This is not water resistant in any kind of way, so you do definitely want to one reapply it period a couple times throughout the day probably especially if you're outside a lot but um, if you are um, swimming um, I think you would want to use something that is waterproof this does not claim to be so just know that okay let's talk about the two different moisturizers that they sent I, I really love them both but I love love this one this is the Botanica souffle creme Oh man, this is so nice. So um, I can use this one on my face in the morning. It is slightly too heavy, but I just love the texture of it so much. Some mornings I will just put a little bit in the areas where I'm prone to get a little bit more dry, which is around my nose here, around like right here on my brows, and then sometimes the corners of my mouth here, I will get some dryness here. Um, this is a very beautiful formulation that I feel like this is almost more anti-aging than the A plus longevity complex. So this is supposed to be the um, moisturizer that is supposed to really plump your skin, be that like anti-aging moisturizer, but I almost feel like this the Botanica Souffle Cream is better for me at that than that one is. Um, I love the smell of this. It is such a nice texture, you guys. It's almost slightly gel, like it's like a gel lotion. It absorbs so beautifully into my skin. I love the way that it plumps up the lines on my neck. I kind of, I sleep on my stomach, so I have weird lines. Um, that I am trying to minimize here on my neck. Um, I feel like this plumps those lines up so perfectly. When I put this on in the morning, my skin just looks beautiful. Also, I feel like this is the other product that really helps to calm the redness on my chest area. I love this. I have used so much of it. I don't have very much left at all, if you can tell. So this mostly I've been alternating, um, Every night, I've been using either this, this, or this <laughs> on this whole area here, but during the day, I've been focusing either one of these from here down for sure, so um, usually mostly nighttime, but anyway. Um, let's talk a little bit about the A-plus longevity complex. So I have used a fair amount of this one as well, but not quite as much as the Botanica because I tend to just reach for that one. I love the scent of that one very much. Um, again, it's not, it's not a perfume. It's just the natural ingredients in there. This one smells more just like a traditional, like almost body lotion to me. Um, it has a nice texture as well. It's a little bit richer, but, um, it doesn't absorb quite as quickly as the Botanica Souffle, and I would not be able to wear this one during the day. It's a little bit too heavy, but for nighttime, it's great. It does hydrate very intensely. It, this one tends to absorb a little bit slower on my skin than the Botanica, but I like it. I don't think I would repurchase this one. I will definitely repurchase this. This is gorgeous. By the way, none of these products have caused me to break out in any kind of way. They just make my skin feel very hydrated, very soothed. They help to clear up any marks, any redness. I really like the line a lot. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about Sonage, so I'm so glad they reached out and asked me to try these products out. And I really appreciate them giving me so much time to be able to use the products before doing a review for you guys. I will continue to use these products. You will continue to see them in my monthly skincare updates, as well as my empties as I finish some of these products. Um, if I had to recommend just two things for you guys to try, 
It's hard, but I think I would say the High Impact Vitamin C Serum and just because I love it so much, the Botanica Souffle Creme. Um, I would definitely recommend checking these out. Um, really everything I've tried is very lovely. Um, this just is not the best consistency for me, but again, if you have a different skin type, I think you might enjoy this a lot more. Overall, I'm really impressed with the line. I look forward to finishing these products and repurchasing some of them. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Again, check out the links down below. Please do go read up more about the ingredients because they do use some really great um, ingredients in their products. Their website is very easy to navigate, very easy to read through. Um, they provide a lot of information. Read up a little bit more about their history and their mission. Um, I think that is all worth looking into with this particular company. So thank you to Sanaj and um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below um, in the comments section and I will get back to you hopefully very soon. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.